Welcome to Who Died Today America. Stay informed with the latest news and tributes about the famous personalities we've lost. We'll bring you heartfelt stories and updates on the lives and legacies of those who have made a significant impact. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's remember and honor those who have passed. Bill Pascrell Jr., a dedicated public servant and lifelong champion of New Jersey, passed away at the age of 87. His passing marks the end of a remarkable career in Congress, where he served 14 terms as a representative of the people he loved so dearly. Born and raised in Patterson, New Jersey, Bill Pascrell's deep love for his hometown and its people was evident throughout his life. His career in public service began long before his election to Congress in 1996, but it was during his time as a U.S. representative that he truly left his mark on the nation. As a member of the Ways and Means Committee, Pascrell was known for his tireless advocacy on behalf of his constituents, particularly the most vulnerable among them. He was a fierce defender of working families, a staunch advocate for health care reform, and a leader in efforts to protect Social Security and Medicare. Beyond his legislative achievements, Bill Pascrell was also known for his deep commitment to his colleagues and his community. He helped coach the Democrats' congressional baseball team, embodying the spirit of teamwork and camaraderie that defined his approach to public service. His dedication to his work was unwavering, even as he faced health challenges, including heart surgery during his 2020 re-election campaign. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy described Pascrell as a giant of New Jersey, a fitting tribute to a man who devoted his life to making his state and his country a better place. His legacy will be remembered, not just for the laws he helped pass, but for the countless lives he touched along the way. Bill Pascrell is survived by his beloved wife, Elsie, their three children, Bill, David, and Glenn, and six grandchildren. His family's statement captures the essence of his life. Bill lived his entire life in Patterson and had an unwavering love for the city he grew up in and served. He is now at peace after a lifetime devoted to our great nation, America. As we mourn his passing, we also celebrate a life well-lived and a legacy that will continue to inspire future generations. Gina Rowlands, the iconic American actress whose career in film, stage, and television spanned nearly seven decades, passed away at the age of 94 on August 14th at her home in Indian Wells, California. She succumbed to complications from Alzheimer's disease, a condition she had been living with for the past five years. Born on June 19, 1930 in Madison, Wisconsin, Gina Rowlands was a force of nature in the acting world. Her captivating performances and unparalleled talent made her one of the most respected actresses of her generation. A four-time Emmy and two-time Golden Globe winner, Rollins left an indelible mark on the industry with her work, especially in collaboration with her husband, actor-director John Cassavetes. Together, they created ten films, including A Woman Under the Influence and Gloria, both of which earned her Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. Her work in Opening Night also earned her the Silver Bear for Best Actress. Rollins's career was characterized by her ability to portray complex, deeply emotional characters. Her performances in films like Woody Allen's Another Woman and her son Nick Cassavetti's The Notebook further showcased her extraordinary range and depth as an actress. In 2015, she was honored with an Honorary Academy Award in recognition of her unique and unforgettable contributions to cinema. Beyond her work with Cassavetes, Rowland's career included roles in numerous television series and stage productions, making her a versatile and enduring presence in the entertainment world. She was admired not only for her talent, but also for her grace, strength, and passion for her craft. Rowland's was also a beloved wife, mother, and grandmother. She married John Cassavetes in 1954, and they remained together until his passing in 1989. They had three children, all of whom followed in their parents' footsteps as actors and directors. In 2012, she married retired businessman Robert Forrest. Gina Rowland's legacy is one of brilliance, resilience, and artistic integrity. She leaves behind a body of work that will continue to inspire and move audiences for generations to come. Her impact on the world of film and television is immeasurable, and she will be deeply missed.
John Apria, the esteemed actor whose career spanned more than five decades, passed away at the age of 83 on August 5th at his home in Los Angeles due to natural causes. Apria's legacy in the entertainment industry is marked by his versatility, charm, and the memorable roles he brought to life on both the big and small screens. Born on March 4, 1941, in Englewood, New Jersey, Apria's journey to stardom began in a close-knit Italian-American family. His early life in a working-class household shaped his humble and grounded persona, which he carried with him throughout his career. Though he initially pursued a business education, his passion for acting led him to Hollywood, where he made his film debut alongside Steve McQueen in Bullet. Aprea is perhaps best known for his portrayal of the young Salvatore Tessio in The Godfather Part II, a role that forever etched his name in cinematic history. His work in the film demonstrated his ability to convey depth and complexity, even in a supporting role, and he often cited it as a pinnacle of his career. His television career was equally illustrious, with notable roles including Latina Vince Novelli in Matt Houston and Sheriff Jack North in Falcon Crest. Fans of the beloved sitcom Full House will remember Apria fondly as Nick Katsopoulos, the charismatic father of John Stamos's character, a role he reprised in the revival Fuller House. His work on daytime television also left a lasting impact, particularly through his portrayal of Lucas Castigliano on Another World. Aprea's talents extended beyond acting. He was a cherished presence on set, known for his warm demeanor and professionalism. His contributions to the entertainment industry were not just about the roles he played, but the relationships he built and the respect he garnered from his peers. Beyond his professional life, Aprea was a devoted family man. He was married three times and was the proud father of a daughter. His legacy will live on through the countless performances that brought joy to audiences around the world. John Aprea's passing marks the end of an era, but his work will continue to inspire and entertain for generations to come. Phil Donahue, the legendary talk show host and pioneer of interactive television, passed away at the age of 88 after a long illness. Known for revolutionizing the daytime talk show format, Donahue's impact on television and culture was profound, making him a household name and a trailblazer in the industry. Born on December 21, 1935 in Cleveland, Ohio, Phil Donahue began his broadcasting career in the 1950s. However, it was in 1967, while taping his show in Dayton, Ohio, that he introduced a groundbreaking concept that would change television forever. Audience participation. This simple, yet innovative idea of allowing studio audiences to ask questions and engage with guests on controversial and timely topics transformed The Phil Donahue Show into a national sensation. Donahue's show, later renamed simply Donahue, became a platform for exploring the most pressing issues of the time, from women's rights to war, religion, and civil liberties. His willingness to tackle polarizing subjects with intelligence and empathy earned him the respect of viewers and peers alike. Oprah Winfrey, one of the most successful talk show hosts of all time, credited Donahue as the pioneer who paved the way for her career, acknowledging that his format inspired her own show. Over the years, Donahue was recognized with numerous awards, including nine Daytime Emmy Awards, and was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame in 1993. He was also a fierce advocate for women's rights, using his platform to highlight the injustices women faced in the workplace and beyond. Phil Donahue was more than a television host. He was a force for change, a voice for the voiceless, and a champion of thoughtful discourse in a media landscape often dominated by superficiality. His commitment to bringing difficult conversations into the living rooms of Americans left an indelible mark on society. Surrounded by his beloved wife of 44 years, Marlo Thomas, his children, grandchildren, and his loyal golden retriever, Charlie, Phil Donahue passed away peacefully, leaving behind a legacy of innovation, compassion, and enduring love. He will be deeply missed but his contributions to television and society will never be forgotten. Harry Kurtz, a beloved comedian known for his vibrant personality and appearances on America's Got Talent and The Late Late Show with James Corden, tragically passed away at the age of 73 on August 15th in a hit-and-run accident in Tarzana, Los Angeles. 
His sudden and untimely death has left a void in the comedy community and in the hearts of those who knew and loved him. Born in Philadelphia, Harry Kurtz moved to Los Angeles in 1979, where he quickly became a fixture in the comedy scene. His unique style, combining humor with a touch of rap, made him a standout performer. He earned a place in the national spotlight with his appearance on season 8 of America's Got Talent in 2006, where he showcased his comedic talents with a rap performance aimed at impressing judges Heidi Klum, Howard Stern, and Mel B. Although he didn't advance past that round, his memorable performance left a lasting impression on audiences. Perry's career spanned several decades, during which he graced numerous stages, including The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and The Late Late Show with James Corden, where his infectious humor and charm endeared him to audiences. His 2014 and 2018 performances on these shows are fondly remembered by fans who appreciated his quick wit and affable nature. Beyond his television appearances, Perry was known for his dedication to the craft of comedy. He was a regular at comedy clubs across the country, bringing laughter and joy to countless people. His passion for making others smile was evident in every performance, and his ability to connect with audiences was truly special. Perry is survived by his daughter, Zelda Velasquez, who confirmed his passing, and the many friends and fans who cherished his humor and warmth. His loss is deeply felt, but his legacy of laughter and lightheartedness will live on in the memories of those he entertained. Harry Kurtz's life was tragically cut short, but his spirit will continue to inspire and bring smiles to those who remember him. Peter Marshall, the beloved American game show host, television personality, and actor, passed away at the age of 98 on August 15th at his home in Encino, Los Angeles, California. His death was due to kidney failure, marking the end of a remarkable life and career that spanned nearly a century. Born Ralph Pierre Lecoq on March 30, 1926, in Clarksburg, West Virginia, Peter Marshall was destined for a life in entertainment. Following his father's tragic death, Marshall moved to New York City, where he began his journey in show business. After serving in the U.S. Army during World War II, he returned to pursue a career that would see him grace the stages of Broadway, the screens of Hollywood, and the hearts of millions of television viewers. Marshall was best known as the original host of the iconic game show The Hollywood Squares, a role he held from 1966 to 1981. His witty and charismatic presence made the show a staple of American television, and his easygoing style endeared him to viewers and celebrities alike. Over the course of 15 years and more than 5,000 episodes, Marshall became synonymous with the show, helping to create countless memorable moments in television history. Beyond the Hollywood squares, Marshall's career was diverse and accomplished. He appeared in films, on stage, and hosted other television shows, including the Peter Marshall Variety Show and Fantasy. He was also a popular radio host, with a long-running show on the Music of Your Life radio network. His contributions to entertainment were recognized with numerous accolades, including induction into the Television Academy Hall of Fame. Despite his many professional achievements, Peter Marshall was also a devoted family man. He is survived by his wife, Lori Stewart, whom he married in 1989, his children, and stepchildren. His legacy in the entertainment industry, especially his pioneering role in daytime television, will continue to influence and inspire future generations. Peter Marshall will be remembered not only for his contributions to the entertainment world, but also for his warmth, humor, and kindness. He brought joy to countless lives and will be deeply missed by all who knew him. Chichi Rodriguez, the legendary Puerto Rican golfer and beloved sports icon, passed away on August 8th at the age of 88. A trailblazer in the world of golf, Rodriguez's life was marked by remarkable achievements and a deep commitment to giving back to his community. Born into humble beginnings in Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico, Rodriguez's journey to golf greatness began with makeshift clubs made from guava tree branches and metal cans. His determination and natural talent saw him rise from a young caddy to one of the most celebrated golfers of his time. In 1960, Rodriguez turned professional, and three years later, he won his first PGA Tour event, the Denver Open, at the age of 28, 
Over the next two decades, he would secure eight PGA Tour titles and become known for his charismatic personality and unique Toreador dance celebration on the green. Rodriguez's impact on golf extended well beyond his victories. As the first Puerto Rican to be inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1992, he paved the way for future generations of Hispanic golfers. His prowess on the course was matched by his kindness and generosity off it. After experiencing poverty in his early life, Rodriguez dedicated himself to helping others, establishing the Chichi Rodriguez Youth Foundation. This foundation aimed to build self-esteem and provide opportunities for young people facing adversity, a mission that Rodriguez pursued with the same passion he brought to his sport. Rodriguez's influence also reached popular culture, with his image and name appearing in music, video games, and even movies. Despite his fame, he remained grounded, always proud of his Puerto Rican roots and committed to his family and community. Chichi Rodriguez's legacy as a golfing legend and a humanitarian will continue to inspire. His contributions to the sport and his efforts to uplift others will be remembered by all who had the privilege of witnessing his remarkable life. Erica Ash, a dynamic and multi-talented actress, comedian, singer, and model, passed away at the age of 46 after a courageous battle with breast cancer. Known for her sharp wit, infectious energy, and vibrant presence, Erica's contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark. Born on September 19, 1977, in Florida, Erica's early life was shaped by her family's military background, leading to a childhood filled with travel and diverse experiences. This global upbringing, combined with her time at a performing arts school in Atlanta, sparked a passion for the arts that would eventually define her career. Initially setting her sights on a career in medicine, Erica graduated from Emory University with a degree in pre-medicine, but a life-changing trip to Japan led her to the stage where she found her true calling. Erica's breakthrough came when she joined the cast of The Big Gay Sketch Show in 2006, where her comedic talents quickly became apparent. Her ability to bring larger-than-life characters to the screen, such as the unforgettable LaTanya, showcased her versatility and set the stage for her future success. In 2008, Erica joined the cast of Emad TV for its 14th season, becoming the fifth African-American female cast member in the show's history. Her performances on Mad TV were a testament to her comedic brilliance, making her a standout in the world of sketch comedy. Beyond her work in comedy, Erica also made a significant impact on television, particularly through her role in the star's sitcom Survivor's Remorse. Her portrayal of M. Chuck, a bold and complex character, earned her critical acclaim and endeared her to fans worldwide. Erica Ash was not only a gifted performer, but also a trailblazer who inspired many with her talent, grace, and resilience. Her legacy will continue to inspire future generations of performers. Erica's light may have dimmed too soon, but the joy and laughter she brought to the world will never be forgotten. Breaking news of the day. News 1. Big Bang Theory alum Kate Micucci is expressing her deep gratitude just three months after undergoing unexpected lung surgery. The 43-year-old actress is making her return to acting with a guest role on Tuesday night's episode of Night Court, where she reunites with Dan Fielding as the grown daughter of the Wacky Wheeler family. This was a perfect way to get back into it, Micucci told The Post. I'm still dealing with the after-effects of my surgery, I still get a cough occasionally, like a little coughing fit, and I'm so fortunate that I'm okay. Micucci, who has never smoked, was diagnosed with lung cancer last fall after it was detected in a blood test. She underwent surgery in mid-December and shared her journey on TikTok. I just had to do one surgery and that was it, she explained. They found it early, but the crazy thing about it was that I had no symptoms. Surgeons removed 20% of Micucci's right lung, and while she's working on regaining her stamina, she feels incredibly lucky. Every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, I feel like I won the lottery. Reflecting on her health scare, Micucci shared a renewed perspective on life. When I got to the Warner Brothers lot to film Night Court that first day, I started crying. Not to sound too cheesy, but I was thinking, I can't believe I get to be a part of this. It's a perfect way to jump back to being on camera, and I'm feeling better each week, she added. I'm almost there. News 2. 
Country music star Carly Pierce recently took to social media to provide fans with an encouraging update on her battle with pericarditis, a heart condition she revealed in late May. In a heartfelt message shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, Pierce reflected on her journey over the past month and offered some personal insights. A little health update, Pierce wrote. It's been a month since this crazy heart stuff happened and have learned a few things I felt like sharing. She highlighted five key takeaways. Daily exercise isn't essential to feeling good. Walking is great for mental and physical health. Maintaining a positive mindset is crucial. Change can be beneficial. And in her words, medication sucks. Reassuring her fans, Pierce added, I'm getting better every day and feeling more like myself. I'll be running around like my usual self before you know it. Thanks for all the prayers. I have felt them every single day. This update follows her recent interview with Kelly Clarkson, where she opened up about the frightening experience. I thought I was dying, Pierce confessed, describing the intense chest pain she endured. Despite her diagnosis of pericarditis, which involves inflammation of the tissue surrounding the heart, Pierce remains optimistic and determined to continue performing, while taking precautions to manage her health. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be completely fine, she assured her fans. It just means that right now, I have to take this seriously. Pierce concluded her message by encouraging everyone to listen to their bodies and prioritize their health, adding, I love you guys. I'll see you soon.